beautiful and welcome back to my channel and to this video we are going to try out the new Giorgio Armani Neo Nude Foundation and I'm going to wear it all day and we're going to see how it is. Mm. It is currently 6 in the morning, I'm drinking some coffee. Usually I am on my way to work but I actually have some extra hours at work. I picked up some extra hours and I'm using them to go in a bit later to work today because I want to try this new foundation. This is the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude and I got this foundation yesterday. It came in a glossy black, kind of typical Giorgio Armani packaging. <clears throat> And inside, it's a little squeezy tube, and it has the color on the bottom here. It's pretty cute. It looks like a little pebble. It's really, really cute. I got mine in shade 5.5. I'm pretty sure that 5.5 was the lightest medium with a neutral undertone. I have a bit of self-tanner on, even though my hands are looking quite rough after the like the time we're living in, you know, you're scrubbing your hands left and right. But I wanted to get one that was a shade darker to fit me when I have a bit of self-tanner and also to fit me during summer because I love wearing a light coverage foundation during summer because this is what this one is. Let me read you what it's about. This is the new Neo Nude and Ultra Lightweight Skincare Infused Foundation that delivers a natural, healthy looking glow all day hydration with light buildable coverage. It is available right now at Sephora and I bought mine at Kix in Sweden. It launched at the same time. I don't even know what happened, but this has skin loving ingredients like hyaluronic acid and glycerin to deliver all day hydration while emollient oils and pure pigments bring comfort and coverage to reveal a naturally beautiful skin. This looks fantastic, right? But what I want is something that gives me hydration, but a light coverage and still looking like skin. And this one says it's true to skin. True to skin, light coverage, that is what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna use a sponge for half of my face. See, this is the color. And I'm gonna use a brush for the other half. And we'll see, oh my God, that looks so great. And we'll see how this looks. And I'm also gonna wear this because I'm still going into work. It is six o'clock right now. And I'm gonna go in uh, with a train that gets me there a bit later. I'm still gonna do a, a full day at work, so I'll be wearing this to work, I'll tag you along, not really at work, but I'll do some check-ins, and we'll see how this one holds up. It works beautiful with the sponge. I mean, it doesn't cover all the things here, but it is a light coverage, it's not meant to, but it really just looks like healthy skin. I'm gonna use the Nabla, uh, the Nabla foundation brush, and I'm just gonna uh, go in and I, I'll, I basically what I like to do is I, I like to put it on the foundation brush uh, and I'm gonna use this on this side this is one of my favorite foundation brushes I have very normal skin but I have a bit of like mature skin I mean I am 36 I have some fine lines I do get some more drier spots at times but normally I am I'm just normal skin I get a bit of oily around my nose and just a little bit on my chin if it gets really warm outside or really humid most of the times I will say things do hold up on me pretty good I don't get really oily I don't get really dry but that also shows me that if something really breaks up on me too fast I mean, that means something. This works really good as well. Usually light coverage foundations works really good with brushes that are a bit softer like this. Just around the nose here, I would like to just fix with the sponge. I'm just gonna go with this. I think I liked it more with the sponge. But usually when doing light coverage foundations, a brush that's a bit like not as stiff, for me at least, usually works a bit better. I think I used about maybe what would be like two, maybe three pumps on my entire face, but I only had a bit of moisturizer under. So I tried to use a bit extra to, to really get that hydration in as well. I am gonna use, I bought the concealer that I've been loving so much lately, the Born to Glow from NYX, and I bought it in a deeper color, well, deeper, darker for me. This is instead in vanilla. I had it in pale, and it is beautiful when I don't have a tan, but it's just a bit too light for me when I have a bit of self-tanner. I like being a bit highlighted under my eyes. See, this is still lighter but I just not that highlighted. So I'm gonna use this as well. I am gonna powder a bit. I'm gonna use the NYX HD uh, under my eyes and I'm gonna use the By Terry a bit uh, just to dust 
lightly over my face so to give this foundation a good chance because I always powder lightly over my face if I know I'm gonna use it like the entirety of the day. I'm just gonna speed through the rest of my makeup application. Um, I am gonna put on some more makeup than this but this video isn't really <laughs> about what else I am putting on but I'll, I'll list it down below. Okay, so my face is pretty much done and it is 0637, I hope you can see. So it's been about 30 minutes for me to do this. I am gonna do something to my lips as well, but I'm still drinking my coffee. Mm. And I need to blow dry my hair because like I said, I just came out of the shower, but I will say, let me come a bit closer. This looks, there you can see, this looks spectacular, honestly. I'm having a bit of dry under eyes, but I think that's my fault because I didn't have any eye cream on tonight, like last night. That was my fault, but the face is looking great. Everything is looking really fantastic, so my under eyes aren't that bad. I probably should have put some eye cream on, but... <laughs> You live, you learn. So I'm gonna finish my coffee, I'm gonna blow dry my hair, I'm gonna find something for the lips, and I am gonna leave my house in about 40 minutes, and I'll take you along. Won't do that much of vlogging, but I'll check in a bit and see how this is. I'll probably bring a powder to work in case this goes totally haywire, so I can fix it, because I need to be, I mean, I'm not coming home until uh, half past five, like 5 p.m., like 5.30 p.m. How do you say that even? 5.30 p.m.? 
half past 5 p.m. Let me know how you say that. In Sweden, we just say 17.30. That's why it's so confusing to me. Okay, so the look is done. I was kind of hoping it was going to be a bit lighter than this. It, it's not the best weather in Sweden today. It's meant to be raining today. It's been actually kind of nice for like a month, but not the morning that I decided. <laughs> Not the morning that I decided to film, but it's closing up to 7 now and so this whole thing has been taking me an hour and I did start with the foundation so I already had that on for an hour. It really did uh, dry down. I do feel like it's a bit, not tacky, but I like, it feels a bit, you know how your skin feels when you just had moisturizer on and you let it sink in for a bit? Not sticky, but just supple. My skin really feels good, that's what I'm trying to say. And I don't feel like the powder really disrupted it too much either. It still looks a bit skin-like and this highlighter is also divine. But I am gonna, I'm gonna make some sandwiches for work. I'm gonna pack my lunch and I am off to work. And we'll see how this one holds up. I'm really hoping it's gonna hold up okay. Because I never wear makeup to work and it'd be a shame if the one time I wore it, it looks like a dumpster fire. Okay, it is 12.30, is that how you say it? It's like, in Sweden we would say 12.30, but it's just after lunch. It's just after lunch and I've had it on for quite some time and so far it's still looking really good. I haven't touched up, I haven't powdered, I haven't done anything. It's going in a little bit in my smile lines, but honestly it's not that bad. It's still looking really fresh and nice. When I go really in here, I can see that it's like really settling into some of the like impurities that i had but could you not don't you see i'm filming but honestly it's still looking really good it looks a bit like the nyx bear with me the only thing i would say that this is probably just a tad tad more coverage than that which is i mean probably a good thing right having a little bit of coverage can actually be really good but yeah that's it i think it's looking quite okay it's after four i'm heading to the bus i'm going home work is done Hi sweetie, is that a doggo? Is that a doggo? <laughs> I am home, it is half past five uh, and I'm home. As per usual, as Ricardo told me. I was like, what is the time? He's like, you always come home at this time. Apparently I have no clue what I'm doing. Uh, the foundation is still looking really good. It is a bit dry on like spots that have like, I don't want to call it dry spots, but you know when you flake a little, is it dry spots? But I'm not looking oily. I would rather say that I'm looking a bit more dry rather than oily, but it's still looking really good. But definitely not oily. I haven't been touching up even one bit. And now I have been wearing it for almost 12 hours, but I feel like it might have oxidized a bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a bit on my hand and I'm gonna leave it on for like half an hour and then I'm gonna come back at like six because then I've had it on for 12 hours and we are gonna put some more on next to it on my hand to see if it oxidizes or not because that's the only thing I feel right now. I feel like it might have oxidized a bit. So I'm gonna do that and I'll come back and finish this up. Okay, this is the final check-in it is 1834 I hope you can see it here and I've had this foundation on now for over 12 hours and it is looking really nice let me like here's the thing if I was like doing something today I wouldn't remove this and start again I, I just keep this on and just add some more eyeshadow to be honest the only thing is looking a little glowy here but nothing horrible it hasn't rubbed away any places to be honest there's a little bit in my smile lines but 
every foundation does that and it has settled a bit to some of the dry spots on my chin where I had a bit of a breakout like two days ago that's healing a bit and honestly I think every foundation would do that when you have a bit maybe not every but I don't feel like it's anything bad. It's what I expected from a good foundation as well. I am so far very pleased. I need to use it just a little bit more, especially when I don't have a breakout that's healing, just to see how it's how it's working with that. But And also, of course, with a primer to see if that can make it even better because I didn't use a primer and still my skin is looking, at least I think, really good. Let me because I did put a little bit on my hand so we can see if it oxidized. Oh, this is what it did. Do you see like this part here? That's the part that I put on like 40 minutes ago. And this is the part I put on just now. It does like become a little bit ashy over time when it dries down. It looks a bit more golden and yummy. You can also see my horrible self tanner here on my hand. So that's why I felt like the color wasn't perfect anymore, is that it does go a little, little bit darker and it also does dry down a little more cool tone or a little more ashy. So maybe that's just something to, to keep in mind, to be honest. You can also see that my hand is a lot more like, hands are so dry right now, I shouldn't really be swatching anything on my hands. And I also, I don't know if you can see that here, but I kind of forgot to bronze up my neck because I don't really self tan that much on the neck, it doesn't really stick there. So I probably should have bronzed up my neck a bit more to not, because my face and my hands and my arms are pretty somewhat tan, but my neck isn't really, but it didn't really oxidize, but it did change color tone a bit when it dried down. Something to keep in mind, but it is pretty light coverage though, so it's not something that's going to be super visible. I just, you know, I had my eyes on it today since I was reviewing it, so that's probably why I noticed it. But yeah, that was everything for this video. Please do subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I upload quite a lot of videos. I will have more videos this week, and I will see you then. Bye!